Hello everyone, Dave Matsushi here, and today I will explain why I think Elden Ring is the best introduction to From Software games. But before we do that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to support the channel. With that being said, let's go. There has been a lot of discussion recently stating that From Software titles are too hard. Of course, we all know this is a statement as long as time, and that they should implement an easy mode for more players to enjoy their titles. If I'm not mistaken, their largest incidence of this recently was when Sekiro released, and a lot of game journalists couldn't get to the end of the game and really were complaining all around the media. Not only them, but also a number of gamers that try to get into this style of games through Sekiro were not pleased that they just spent $60. $60 on a game that they weren't even remotely close to finishing. This has started a conversation all around the internet the past few weeks stating that the game should not even be full priced, which is practically crazy. Elden Ring won't be an easy game compared to the Trump's past masterpieces. Talking to you, Bloodborne. I love you. They won't nerf their bosses and just make them easier to be killed, but the game has implemented other ways to make your introduction a million times more enjoyable. Just to be transparent with all of you, I didn't get to play the network test. My opinion has been formed by reading interviews from the creators of the game and by watching videos of people that actually have experience with the beta. The biggest change has to be the new open world format. This gives players a brand new way to approach the game. In previous titles, you didn't have to beat every boss in a specific order. There were optional bosses, secret bosses that you had to find out after watching your favorite YouTubers, and even bosses that you could just go back to defeat before finishing the game. But in Elden Ring, it seems that players can just beat any boss in any order, helping them get specific items that defeat bosses that they've just been having trouble with. Speaking of the open world format, True fans of From Software know how checkpoints have always been very scarce in previous games, and sometimes just to get to a boss, you had to traverse so much that you would die over and over before even getting at the boss. Looking at you, Dark Souls 3. That as well has become a problem of the past because Elden Ring really cranked up everything up to 11 in this game. It packed so many checkpoints, which are actually called Sites of Grace, basically just bonfires, and they even went a step further and put really close checkpoints right out of specific boss battles, just not to make the journey more tedious to face him, after of course he defeats you on your first encounter. I know that the next point might depend on the build you're actually going for, but ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, magic in this game, woo, it's gonna be fun. It seems that magic is the way to go if you want a smooth path to victory. Unlike in previous titles, now magic takes a higher priority in the game, once again, maybe to help new players. Most of the weapons that were available in the network test had a lot of magic integrated in them, making it pretty hard to avoid them. So I guess magic moves are the new wave. Even after expressing the magic point before, the game seems to have plenty of weapons that just make the game seem like a total walk in the park. These being sleeping arrows, of course they are magic, but during the network test made most enemies just fall asleep right after being shot. Or the Ash of War, which is an item that practically, if you put it on a shield, grants its user protection that isn't even fair, if we're being honest, to the enemies of the game. But you actually have to watch out for those clips because we all know how it usually ends when you're around clips. The main reason I think will make Elden Ring easier and more accessible for new players is that the game director himself said that they have made playing with other people more simple than ever before, stating, Thankfully, gone are the days of having to ring bells and um, Jesus, I actually forgot how we used to summon them before, but there's a new way that was tested in the beta that uh, they said you had to have, if you want to offer aid to one of the players, you must use an item called the Tarnished Furled Finger. 
I think I said that right. And if you want to summon an ally to your game, you must use an item called the Fur Fur Calling Finger Remedy. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, um, I won't go into the specifics, but it seems like everyone can play. You can call a friend to beat that gang up on that boss that's just trying to give you a little bit of self-help you know <laughs> he's trying to motivate you to be better but guys i guess just get into it it's gonna be awesome i'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna love the game i love the game um yeah i guess that's just it i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe uh, for more i'm gonna do I really want to do a lot, a lot of challenges in this in this channel. I want to. Ch uh, I don't want this to be a, a from software gaming challenge channel, but I want to do other game challenges. But of course, I will focus my energy, focus time, life, everything to, of course, playing Elden Ring. So um, I already pre-ordered the game. If you want to see some gameplay of the best player ever, stick around. Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> Guys, double peace out. Whoop.